Welcome everybody to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we're at the Victoria Boat and Fishing Show. Uh, we're here with Rob Elcock from the Sport Fishing Institute of British Columbia. Welcome, Rob. Well, thank we're going to talk a little bit about the halibut. This seems to be a hot button topic and it's uh, pressing on everybody's minds around here. A lot of talk around the show, so let's talk about it. Like, what's going on with it? Yeah, it sure is. Well, uh, as you know, since 2003, we've been working the last seven years trying to find a solution to the 2003 policy that was in place, and uh, those those roundtable discussions failed. Mm -hmm. um, since then, the minister has come up with a policy on February 15th that she thought was going to resolve the, the incident, but it, it really didn't. Uh, it's made the case worse for the recreational fishermen. Uh, she's now asking the recreational fishermen to pay for a common property resource if they want to go out fishing. And, uh, mm -hmm. She's trying to model the East Coast fishery where they don't have a recreational fishery. and. No. Uh, they just don't understand our West Coast lifestyle here. No. So. The way the quota is set up right now is 88% goes to commercial fishermen, 12% to sport fishermen. That's right. The right. International Pacific Halibut Commission okay. uh, gives us what we're allowed to safely extract from the water every year. So that takes away all our conservation issues. All we're talking about now is how we divide that total allowable mm -hmm. catch up between the sectors, First Nation, yeah. commercial, and recreation. Okay. And again, we as sports anglers get 12 Right, we get 12 percent. Like uh, as an example, our our neighbors on the south of us in Washington, the recreational gets 36 wow. percent, and Alaska recreational gets 37 percent. Wow, that's an they, interesting. They number. recognize the value that sport fishing yeah. creates in their states. Yeah. Yeah. So what what can we do? What can we do as sport anglers? What how can we make a difference? Like what is what is are we basically powerless or what do we get to do? What can we do here? No, we're having some luck with our case. We've realized round table is not going to work, yep. and it's become it is a political issue, okay. and political pressure is the only way it's going to be solved. Okay. Um, on our website, which is www.sfibc.com, mm -hmm. uh, we have some templates set up there where people can go and get all the information about the history and why we mm -hmm. are where we are now and what they can do in the future by uh, writing their MP, the Minister and the Prime Minister of Canada. Yeah. Uh, we've had a phenomenal campaign that has taken notice yeah. and uh, this is this is still going to be resolved Yeah. and that's the, we need to show them that we are yeah. concerned about how they're treating the West Coast. Yeah, that's good. And again, make sure you check out that website, have a look, make a difference, write a letter. It doesn't take too long for you to write that letter and send it off and it means a lot. If we can get everybody doing it, we're gonna we're gonna bury some people under paper and they're gonna take notice and yeah, realize and that there is a problem here and then we're not gonna sit here and accept it, right? Sure. And we've got a possibility of an election coming up yeah. in the near future and that would be a, a political issue then for an election as well. So so again, Rob, like aside from writing letters and stuff, what is what's the solution? Well, the quota was originally given to quota holders for free, and a lot of those guys that got it are now not fishing it because they can just lease it out and make money. So the so that's solution, on the commercial sector you're talking about. On the about, commercial yeah. sector, they got it for free and now they lease it for $5 a pound and they don't fish it anymore. The 435 guys, only 137 are still fishing. Uh, our solution is the government needs to go back and get that quota back from those people that aren't fishing it mm -hmm. and give it to people that, won't, you know, that are gonna yeah. fish it and use it. Yeah, exactly. And that would be us. That would be us? Yeah, we can that use would that. Be us. Good, again. The 300,000 of us that buy a sport fishing license that's every right. year. Yeah. That's right, and the people that are coming out of province and pumping money into this province via tourism and gas stations and everything else that goes along with fishing. That's right. It's important yeah. so business for It's a $1.2 billion dollar industry in British Columbia alone. Yeah, we need to keep that going. Sure. Good, thank you. My pleasure, this. thanks for having me. Okay.